as for Marcus, you haven't missed much. There was a guy or there was a guy who had constantly called he made like a Fred talking about how it was racist that Johnny Depp had been cast in Pirates of the Caribbean because the characters are not not just Johnny Depp, but you know, majority of the cast of Pirates of the Caribbean in real life wouldn't have been white. But in the Pirates movies, the majority of the cast is white. And that's racist. But the guy that uh, was making that tweet, or Fred of tweets, kept on calling Johnny, Johnny Derp. And I get that R is next to E on the keyboard, but the fact they kept on doing it over and over again is seems like that he was doing it intentionally. He p- was probably on Amber's side during the trial. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Derp is offensive. It's ableist. And then from whatever the last video was when there was uh, taking kids to drag shows. But someone had replied to it saying, well, you you take your kids to Hooters and, and stuff like that. Uh, someone, people kept on commenting under that and Marcus had said, Marcus had, had made a, a metaphor for it where he said that cancer and the flu are bad. And a couple of guys were basically just saying, yeah, but, but cancer's worse. As if that makes the flu okay. So the people that said that. Next time you get the flu. Don't complain. Otherwise you're a hypocrite. Anyway. So. Uh, sex robots about to hit the market. God save us all. Not only is it degenerate. It's actually going to make the human race extinct. Because these are probably AI. And eventually the AI is going to grow more self-conscious and, and realise that she actually doesn't consent to this. Uh, and now we're going to have trials where people are accused of raping robots. She's Scottish. Marcus, did you commission this? No comment. YouTube seems to be non-stop scam ads. I haven't got non-stop scam ads. I keep on getting one that lasts like five seconds. And I it's like printing off a protest sign or something. Oh, and there's also another one of the baby crying or laughing or something. I've got an oximeter and it's 95. At what point should I consider seeing a doctor? Emphasizing how... Breathing kind of hurts, oh, and I've been super short of breath. Is this just the initial hump period? Below 92 is dodgy territory. Gentlemen, I'm pleased to inform you that I might have finally found a charity that will accept the money. I'll make a video once everything is finished. It's going to be around 40k. I have not the exact figure yet. My god, Marcus. It's taken like four years. Pen tweet, four. Yeah, 20th of June 2018, almost four years. The trial was six years ago. I'm not blaming you. Just, you know, I'm blaming everyone else. Jesus Christ. How dare you give money out of the charity? For some reason. Oh, no, 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 no. So, you know, I want to try it up on this. Okay. Today, Marcus ate my freshly beat cookies and I asked him to apologize. It took him 40 times to say sorry for laughing in the face. He's a bastard. You made cookies then and left them lying right in the tray and went to bed without eating any. Partly your fault. Eighteen years, 18 years ago today, in the small town of Place, Colorado, the government destroyed. Marf, he made his business that took everything he had built and destroyed his life. He destroyed their time. Killdozer. 
He was a rich boomer goon who moved there for the snowmobiling, then Ray pissed baby Tanner when he didn't get a, his, exactly his way about zoning permits. The locals then went out on a terrorist rampage where his targets included a children's library and a playground. Libertarians. Why is Movie Bob verified? And I'm surprised that, ver- that Movie Bob is against Killdozer because Movie Bob seems like a total incel. Bob, shut up. He wasn't paid. This is what happens when you don't pay. That's not what happened at all, but of course, movie execute Republicans, Bob, doesn't have a good relationship with facts. Draft was was just that word. I've been submitted to the Russia's state Duma under which LGBT propaganda can be fined by up to 10 million rubles. Hey guys, cool thing. I'm going to be on Tucker Carlson tonight. Add more colors to the pride flag again. Soon. And it won't just be feet. It'll be pedophiles. And cannibals. That guy's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Well, yes, it makes you happy. This is my soda dispenser. Dispenser the soda. Soda button. Soda dispenser. Shh. Dang, I guess I mislabeled it. Um. I don't understand the bloke. There was some confusion on what the object in the last version of this column was an onion, so I made a new one. Epic. I don't understand. A boomerang? Around furries better scream. Imagine trying to cancel somebody and you made them a millionaire. 